Hey, it's John David here from Silver Tone Analytics. In this video, we are going to talk about sales and inventory analytics and how we can apply Tableau to conduct this analysis. So what are the key challenges as far as sales and inventory analytics goes? Well, we've broken them down into two major challenges. So the first is, it's a big challenge to understand how are your buyers behaving. And we can break that down into a few different ways. Um, I've listed seasonality and segmentation on there. Um, so seasonality is, are they buying more during the wintertime or the summertime or vice versa? And then a segmentation, we're gonna break down into some geographical segmentation. So are certain types of finishes selling in different parts of the country? Because then that's going to have implications as far as the second point, which is, does your inventory match your buyer behavior? Because if people are buying a whole lot of a certain finish up in the Northeast, but you're not stocking that, then it's gonna to lead to a lot of stockouts. So this is a sample sales and inventory dashboard that we put together for this video. I've left a link in the description down below so that you can follow along. And if you want to, you can download it and start to dissect it and start to get a deeper understanding of it. So this first view that we're looking at are the high level KPIs. So right here, we're looking at just a KPI chart. And depending on each client, they may want different KPIs. I kept this one general just so that we can kind of talk through this pretty quickly. So the first KPI that we're gonna look at are is sales followed by inventory on hand. And then lastly, we're going to look at in stock percentages. So there's some logic to that. So the, when a sale occurs, you need your inventory to be on point and, and ready so that when the sale happens, the person can just go to the shelf and get it. And thirdly, the in-stock percentage is a good way of monitoring if your inventory is keeping up with your sales trends. And then we're also looking at time series, sales inventory and in-stock percentages. And we're looking at last year versus this current year. One of the key takeaways here is that when you're selling through one of the big box stores, you need your sales to be a little bit above where you were this time last year, or you run the risk of being put on the chopping block. They All they care about is sales growth. Um, and if you're not keeping up with where you were last year, there's going to be a line review and it's gonna be really hard to dig yourself out of the hole that you've created. So those are some high level KPIs and some of the strategic implications of them. Next, the next view we're looking at, so sales by geography. This is sales broken down by state and then you can filter them by finish and item number. So we're not gonna get it into detail in this video, but this is a great way of introducing you to segmentation. So it's pretty well understood that people in different geographies have different preferences and tastes. So people up in the Northeast have a much different taste than people over here out in California. And you can start to see that when you start to drill down by finish. And then lastly, where you can look at demand planning. And the first view we looked at year one versus year two, this is looking at sales and inventory on one line graph. So the key takeaway here is as your sales start to show some trends, you need your inventory to match that as closely as possible. And then when you find situations where your sales are going up and your inventory is staying still or even going down, that's going to hike up your in-stock percentage or that's gonna hike down your in-stock percentages and all the time and money that you're spending marketing and advertising and trying to get those sales coming in, someone's coming into the store to get, buy your product and it's just not there. So you're wasting all that time, money, and energy on sales that just are not going to get completed. So let me know if you have any comments or questions on this. Thank you.